guys welcome back to my channel so today I just wanted to do a quick video on what I got from my recent Europe um, vacation the first time I shopped was in Bristol and this is what I got I just got a pea coat from Zara this is actually from Zara kids um, okay I know we have Zara here in Canada and it's pretty much kind of everywhere but I I don't know why but I only brought one jacket with me and I don't think it was really that appropriate for photos and all that for London because it was more like edgy and all that and I wanted to be kind of cute and fun um, in London so I managed to get this from Zara kids it's in size 13 to 14 for I believe this was 30 pounds so which converts to about 50 Canadian dollars so yeah I mean I think it's very ladylike and very Meghan Markle like <laughs> so I also got something from Amsterdam Airport um, it was like a I guess duty free or whatever you call it so I basically just got this little um, wallet on chain uh, it's from Machino. Machino is it how you? I'm not sure how you pronounce this. I actually have an inside joke with my friend about the pronunciation because when we went to Amsterdam, so you know how the the airport is called. Um, well, the spelling is S C H I P H O L or something like that, and we were we we have been calling it Schiphol, and people there, the Dutch people, they were all just like Schiphol. So then we were like. Is this really Moschino or Moschino? Anyway, so I actually got this for my sister. I just, when I saw this, I'm like, I want to get this for my sister. So, so yeah, um, it has a detachable um, chain here on the back. And you can wear it as like a little, uh, what do you call this? Like shoulder bag or like a pouch or um, clutch since it's detachable. And I mean, it's pretty spacious unless you have like a... Um, a big phone it has a red interior and it has a care card whatever and yeah I got this for about 69 euros so that about converts to um, like 105 Canadian dollars so pretty good price I think for a designer and then another thing I got from Amsterdam is actually a perfume from Tiffany & Co. This is actually from my mom. The, the actual perfume is actually not inside anymore because my mom is in the States at the moment and she brought it with her since it's only 30 ml which is the only I guess I think maximum um, amount of liquid you can bring with you on the plane so this is the only thing that I was able to the only size that I was able to get her since um, I didn't check in a luggage so yeah and then the biggest purchase of them all okay there's okay there's too much I don't want to exaggerate there's only like four things I got really it's something I got from Harrods so you you guys probably already know that um, Harrods to those familiar with it is a pretty much like a block not not so much of a building it was, it's more like a block of designer like items and stores and like heaven this was actually so unplanned but I was able to get oh my god I was able to cop a pair of shoes I have obviously unboxed this um, and what do you call this but I haven't worn it or anything like that so it came with like a responsibility card, uh, care cards, all that, the receipt from Harrods, and then the shoes themselves. You guys want to take a guess which shoes? So I actually got the, I guess the classic A sneakers with a Velcro because these are actually surprisingly, again, from the kids section. So that way, so this is what they look like. This is... I got these in size 37. I wanted to get the, the lace ones, but they didn't have it on my size. So I ended up purchasing the Velcro ones, which I really don't mind. There's this YouTuber that I watch and 
she's very cute and petite and she has these um, velcro sneakers as well which I think are fine like I think these are fine right um, I know some are like they don't appreciate it as much because it's very like for kids or whatever but I really don't care they're they there's something different right than the usual sneakers with the lace so these were 270 pounds which translates to translates which converts to Canadian dollars 480.3 cents and I don't know if you guys are aware but in London I'm not sure if it's just London or the UK in general but kids items are VAT free or VAT free so that is pretty much tax free also, I was able to get a refund on the tax that they put on this when I went to the airport. It was a two-step process. I needed to, well, first of all, I needed to get the receipt with like the informa my information on it for my passport and all that, which they did at the store, which is I think it's called ICI XL Paris. I got this one from. Yeah, I pretty much got like the the paper there or the receipt, which I brought to the airport. There were two booths that I went to at the airport. I needed to get a stamp first, and, but in order to get a stamp, you have to show the item with you. So they actually advised not to pack it with like a check-in luggage. So that's what I did. And then the, the second booth was actually the getting your money back process. So you just have to show the exact same card or whatever, and then they um, tap it or whatever. And then you're supposed to receive it like for the next few weeks or so. Um, so I just, okay, I don't know, for some reason I thought, like, stupid me, like, why didn't I do that or go under the same process for this particular item? But I just remembered also that there was already no tax because I got this from the airport and it was duty free and all that. So that was pretty much it. I know this was kind of a fast, like, um, a video and a lot of blabbering maybe yeah I'll I guess I'll see you guys next time for another video and I don't know maybe comment what you want to see next thank you so much bye